नमस्कार मैं सुस्मिता मुखर्जी बुंदेलखंड के खजराओ के पावन भूमि से मैं आप लोगों के लिए लेकर आई हूँ सिनेमा जगत के कुछ अनकही किस्से सिर्फ आपके लिए सेवेंथ एडिशन ऑफ खजराओ इंटरनेशनल फिल्म फेस्टिवल सो ज्वाइन मी इन कॉन्वर्सेशन एज आई टॉक टू दिस इनक्रेडिबल मेन एंड वेमेन ऑल बिहाइंड द स्क्रीन सी यू देर to welcome you to keep and thank you so much for actually uh, taking the time out after our uh, busy schedule of um, ninth malotra is where we we were paired together historically in a very cute role to aapka swagat hai kif mein aur bahut bahut dhanyawad bahut bahut shukriya aapko raja ji ko for inviting me i mean it's an honor yesterday we were at the at the opening ceremony which was absolutely fantastic and i was so impressed with the the jo kajurao se jo log aaye the in attendance and um, it's absolutely my honor and my pleasure to be here and thank you and your team for not just inviting me for your hospitality has been wonderful i'm oh, very happy to be here bahut bahut dhanyawad thank you so much aapki jo shuruaat hai aapne jo 10 saal ki umar se aapne kaam shuru kiya आपने कैंडल्स आपके अवार्ड्स जीते इतनी कम उम्र में और फिर आपने आप आपकी जो यात्रा थी फिर अलग पदम सी बम्बई फिर फिल्म्स फिर मतलब आप इंटरनेशनल एक्टर हैं आपने इंटरनेशनल पीएस बॉसनन के साथ काम किया यही यही खजुराओ में बताइए तो आप के बारे में मैं एक्चुअली एक छोटा सा ये पूछना चाहती हूँ आपसे कि आ, है तो बड़ा बड़ा सवाल अब आप, आपके ऊपर है कि आप किस नजरिए से ये जो बच्चे हैं हमारे ये सब जो दे वांट टू लर्न फ्रॉम यू दे वांट टू बी दे आर इंस्पायर्ड बाय यू व्हेन दे लिसन टू आवर कॉन्वर्सेशन दे वुड वांट टू नो यू नो वेल ट्रेडिशनली आई कैन आस्क यू द क्वेश्चन व्हाट वुड दिलीप दाइल टेल हिज यंगर यंगर सेल्फ आई वुड ट्राई टू ट्विक दैट क्वेश्चन बाय सेइंग व्हाट वुड दिलीप दाइल टेल द यंगर पीपल नॉट हिम नॉट हिज यंगर सेल्फ बट द जनरेशन द डिजिटल जनरेशन Well, in in a nutshell, don't do what I did. <laughs> well, um, it, 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 and before you start, I love the seven points that you spoke about in the. The seven class. points. I mean, are you if you if you're talking to me by a general, uh, a life example? Yes. Well, I'm not the best person for it because I mean I've I've sort of gone with the flow and, I, because my start in 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 films per se, was um, a process that. came from the theater i was never really organized from that point of view to handle a film career mm. and it showed because things were very different at the time and you know i was offered a role from by mr sham benigal sham babu when i was on stage with the great pearl padamsi she was doing the first english musical in uh, in mumbai called godspell and we were all part of that group because sham babu used to be in advertising he used to be making advertising films so the whole the the amateur theater english amateur theater was people who worked in advertising who had to work in advertising for their day job which most of them did very well and in the evenings people would rehearse and i always found that very fascinating because here were people who actually came to the theater for the love of theater it was called amateur theater but the standards were fantastic and for that the the architect and the curator for that was mr alec padamsi and his wife pearl padamsi who ran and still do with through their daughter theater group who very kindly accepted me and so that was my grooming process when you say i started acting at the age of 10 that is technically true but that was on stage in school because you know you get involved in school concerts and things like that you won the kendall cup for the best actor i did and and years. that was and that uh, that made a huge impact in my life M- more than along with winning the best actor's cup which was very unexpected laura kendall and jeffrey kendall jeffrey kendall and laura kendall who were the parents the parents of jennifer kendall who was of course the legendary superstar shashi kapoor ji's uh, wife They used to tour the schools in the north, the boarding schools, and no, they came to Mater Dei School, Delhi, where I. Where there you yes. are. So they yes. they they were fantastic, yes. and they took Shakespeare and 
these plays with a, a small troop of three people or four people, spearheaded and led by Jeffrey Kendall and, and Laura Kendall, and they used to also come to Sherwood. Now, that was the first time that I saw where theatre, the raw theatre gripped me. Because they would have, they would have no properties as such. I mean, uh, Jeffrey Kendall has to see bags him, of, you know, just, just bags, bags of costumes just, and things and he'd drape it on a chair yes. and say the throne of Denmark was but a chair and then do, they'd do Macbeth and they'd do, they'd do all these snippets from it's various, nice various yeah. Shakespeare plays yes. and they were so good and their stage presence was so incredible. So as a young boy, mm. I used to be watching them in school in Sherwood. Mm. And by that time, I had also begun to do informal concerts and come on stage for this, that and the other. So I made it a point that I would be in the, in the green, in the, in the wings, because I could get there because I was already you know, doing things on stage. So I knew how to manipulate my way to get into the wings so that I could carry their bags to the school gate. Beyond the school gate, we were not allowed. So as to, and it was, it was, it was a prestigious it was an thing. Honor. It was an honor, yeah. absolute honor. And it wasn't that other people didn't want it, but I kind of manipulated my way. But did you know then that you wanted to be an actor? Not at all. This, Not at all. I had, I had just them on stage. It was, I didn't, I didn't consciously understand what was going on, apart from the fact that they were just mesmerizing. Mm. They were on stage and I was totally, totally attracted to it. I never at that time even thought for a moment that I would, that it would be my profession and I would oh, mention, didn't. no, not when at all. When did that happen? When did that actual, that seed? I don't know if it, that's what I mean. I'm not sure if it was a conscious thing that bang, you know, all right, yeah. today I w I've decided I want to no, be an actor. That feeling inside you. The feeling was always there. Yeah, that, it that, must that. have been there because when I came from, I finished school and I came to, uh, after winning the Kendall's Cup, mm on two occasions, which I was very proud and privileged. So when I came to, to Mumbai, when my parents, my father got, uh, a, he was a pilot, so he got a flying job in Mumbai. I didn't come to Mumbai to become an actor. Mm. I came with my parents when I was 14 years old, after school, mm. during school. And the first thing I did after having a small holiday in school was actually look up the directory find Mr. Alec Padamsi's number because we used to get three month holidays. But how did you know of Alec Padamsi? Well, I found out because after 10 days of being home after boarding school, I got on everybody's nerves, <laughs> particularly my mother's nerves who said, get out of the house and do something constructive. You've eaten enough, you've slept enough, you've <laughs> lazed around enough, get out of the house. <laughs> Not on my couch. <laughs> Not on my couch. <laughs> so. I decided time to get out. I was, I was quite willing to do it. So I found out from people, I said, I'd just done a play in school mm. and I'd won the Best Actors mm. Cup. So I felt like, you know, I was the bee's knees. I mean, you know, the, nobody could beat me. So I called Alec and asked the people, I said, who does theatre around here? Is there any theatre? They said, yeah, I mean, you know, English theatre, the only person who is Alec Padamsi. Mm. So I, those days, this would be a directory. Great, big, fat. big fat directory. <laughs> so I went in there. I found Alec, I found <laughs> Padamsi's name. And Mr. Jerson de Kuna, who's one of the greatest stalwarts of the English theatre and a wonderful actor, used to joke that in the directory, you can find Alec Padamsi's name under A, <laughs> and not P. <laughs> it's just a joke. Anyway, I found the number, I called, there was no secretaries and all, Alec came to the phone. Uh, Mr. Padamsi came to the phone himself, he spoke to me for two seconds and he gave the phone to his wife and she said, come over. And I joined them. All of 14? Yeah, oh my God. all of 15. I was 15 yeah. in class 10. Yeah. So I joined them and we did a beautiful play that year. It was called, it's probably the longest title that a play has ever had. It's called The Persecution and Assassination of Jean-Paul Marat as done by the inmates of the Asylum of Sharon Dott. In fact, I've done this play with Barry John. It's oh, how Marat wonderful. Saad. It's called Marat Saad yeah. in short. Yeah. In short, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. right. It's called Marat Saad. Yes. So at the time, they were staging Marat Saad, which they did in the Xavier's College. They didn't take an auditorium, like a proscenium kind of auditorium for it. They did it in the hall of, the, of, of Xavier's College in Bombay. And um, of course, so when I joined them, I started with production. Mm. 
And I first met, I prepared my speech. I'd just done Macbeth in school that year and I'd won the Best Actors Cup, as I said. Yeah. I don't want to go on and on about that. Mm. But it, 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 it yeah, made me feel that I'm, I'm a great actor, which of course at that stage, yeah. I had no clue, I still have no clue. So I went there and I prepared my speech from Macbeth. I said, if I'm going as an actor, most definitely they'll ask me to do something. So I prepared the, is this a dagger that I see before me? Yeah. That great speech yeah, from, from okay. Macbeth. And as, as soon as I got into, into, into Belha Terrace, the house, Pearl Padamsi was said, darling, lovely to see you. And she handed her bag to me. And I picked up the bag, I had no audition, and she took me down shopping to Crawford Market because she was Any buying costume? no no buying properties for the show not oh. my co <laughs> that's wishful thinking not my costume she imme she thing. immediately took me Did into production yeah. the, the, that was the beauty I mean she took yeah. me in got into a taxi I carried her bag for her which was quite an enormous bag and uh, wasn't very heavy though but it was a nice bag we went to Crawford Market and there I got my first lesson in acting in real life. Pearl never once said that we sit down here and do this. She walked into a shop where she was buying certain properties for the play. And as you know, the theatre never has money. any money. Yeah. And uh, at least certainly in those days. And she, and she had, no, she performed <laughs> in front of the shopkeeper <laughs> and said, oh, no, we don't have any money, it's the theatre, you have to promote the arts. And you know, it is, and she said that, you know, that it is people like you who will champion the arts <laughs> and because of you, theatre will flourish and things like that. <laughs> so shopkeeper, and then she, of course, wanted a huge discount. Yeah. So the shopkeeper, other people in the shop were spellbound because oh, Pearl was a wonderful actor. Yes. And he got very nervous, the shopkeeper. The shopkeeper said, ma'am, I'll sponsor the play, but please leave. <laughs> because I have to give everybody else a discount if you're there. So it was a dramatic oh. lesson. And she came out of the shop and she said, see, that's how it's done. <laughs> so that was my first introduction to actually performing, really. Wonderful. And then I got, I got involved in Marat Saad as a production assistant. And also I got a small role in it because there were these... Hundreds of inmates, so yes, just like yes. lolling around. <laughs> and, you know. Guess what? I, I played the inmate too. You did as well, yeah. As a so if you, if you if, exactly <laughs> there you are. So we come from the same yes, background. Yes. If you had What's no the point of a revolution without <laughs> general general. Mm -mm, mm -hmm. that, that's yeah. <laughs> but so tell me, tell me, Dilip, uh, um, I, you know what? I really am interested to um, to record for posterity. The seven points that you mentioned yesterday. Uh, if I'm right, the first is for an actor to, you know, for the next generation. What are the seven beautiful takeaways? I think it's patience, it's learning your lines, being on time. Uh, shutting your mouth. Shutting your mouth, zipping your mouth. That's Zip your family. mouth and listen and to, the listen to the director. And, uh, and, and being thick-skinned, really, being a deed to, to deal with... Rejection. To deal with rejection, so which is this point was very interesting. That, you know, well, said, these are you know when we I mean I I say these things through experience. Right. So when you say what do I need, I want to communicate to the yes. next generation, that is it. That this if you want it, to become yeah. a successful or if you want to become a movie actor or you want to work in movies, I have realized when I do an analysis of a film, I realize that most of the time, as you well know, is gone in waiting. Exactly. We wait hours for the shot. Then the shot happens. It happens in five minutes. Yes. Back to your changing room and you're waiting again. That, and you have prepared, you've done your lines, you've done everything. Then comes the time that you have to understand how to occupy yourself in that time in a productive manner. So that you, you keep your, keep your focus, focus on your lines yeah. and yet... Uh, Apart from lines, you keep your focus on, on the, the job. job. Lines are part of it, which is important. Which, is, which has already been filtered in. Which has already yeah. filtered in. And then you have the, the job to do. You have to, you, you're working in the scene. That's but all. Really I'm saying that's all come in. Yeah. You absorbed all that. You're ready. Yeah. You, but it just takes so long yeah. to get that scene done. But often, you know, I, I face this problem sometime of late. I feel that I've got, my, I've got my lines done. Like, you know, the first thing you do is your lines. You just get your lines. But then sometimes, you know, if I if I watch a movie because it's a three-hour wait, then sometimes to get back takes that time. So Precisely. To, to, that is that That's time. just what I was coming yes. to. Is that at first when I when I when I got into films, 
I thought that I've got to stay in character all the time, which is good, but it's extremely it's difficult so and could yeah. drive you nuts. Yes. Because for eight hours just to be in the character, you know, if you have like some, if you have some strange character, you're playing a mental person or something, you're gone. Now that is what technique, is, the, is technique, yeah. is the art of being able to switch off and then switch on when you're coming to actually do the scene. And that is where the technique comes in. What and do that, you do? How do you do that? It's just something that uh, I have uh, developed myself. As I said, I first prepare what I have to do for the day completely mentally. And of course, you're wearing you know, your costume and you know, everything mentally. And then I drift away and think of other things or do something else or read a book. Mm. Or if I'm preparing for a play, then I go into that. I start reading my lines for the play. I do something that is not from that particular scene on the day. Mm. Then when you get the call, you usually get it about half an hour before mm. that. You switch the, back. The, I put that all away and I take out the, I read, I take the script out of what I have to do. I go over it all over again. Mm. I do the lines again because then the lines help you get into. So I read the scene basically. Yeah. I don't want to go on and on about lines. Yeah. I read the scene over again, I take it in mm. and then come out and Hopefully, if there's someone wonderful like you as a, as a co-actor, <laughs> we get to rehearse. Yes, no, that's, yes, you know, yeah, it's, let's it's be honest. Yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah. And then it, there's so much ease, there's yeah. so much ease. You but know? not everybody does it, Shushmita. Oh, really? Not everybody does it. In, in our industry... They don't it, rehearse, you mean? Well, now it's a little better. But in the, it, when I was in the industry, no, people didn't rehearse. You just came on the set. There was no time to rehearse. I mean, the dates... The way the people gave the dates and we were doing three shifts a day and all that stuff in the 80s, there was no, there was no time to to even wear a proper costume. Some people used to wear the shirt and say, Kitna, it's not frame mein hai, my short really? and, and trousers were the same as the other film. Oh, you 45 years. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm going back. I've been, so I've been, been like yeah. yeah, it was, it was, there was, there was no concept of rehearsals. And I came from a background of theatre yeah, and yeah, rehearsals. rehearsals. But you have to adjust to that. So you've got to, you got to snap into it, do your line, do your, prepare your scene because you have no time. Because but the, the actor might just, be, the star might just say anything and then you just have to... No, no, listen. Sometimes the stars are... Most people hopefully stick to the script. And it was actually quite a surreal situation because sometimes it was so... It could, it could be, I'm not saying all of it was, please don't get me wrong, yeah, it wasn't yeah. all of it. But sometimes, sometimes. it could be so disconnected <laughs> that the leading person or whatever came from another set, so did you. You had your answer to those lines and they said something completely different. <laughs> but you still answered with an improvisation of something mixed with that. And it was okay. You said, yeah, fine. <laughs> they didn't know better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they didn't know, but they could ask the yeah. people to do it again. The star. Just when you do it again, are you mad? Yes. So, I mean, it was, see, that was the fun side of it. I mean, it's, it's not all, it's not all you know, terribly bad and the 80s course. was fun. But, uh, do you have any, I mean, uh, you're coming to a, a, another question, do you have any regrets, Dilipji, in terms of your own, uh, you know, whatever you want to share in terms of your life, in terms of your choices, in terms of your career, in terms of uh, the, the artist in you, the, the human being in you, in your journey over these years? Yeah, I have, I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't call it regrets mm. because I won't use the word regret because I'm not that kind of person who says, oh, yeah, I shouldn't. But I, I'm saying that if you, if you said that had you, if you had the opportunity to do it again, okay. let's say you had the beautiful song and if I had a chance to do it all again, yeah. I would certainly, I would certainly do one thing, which is improve my choice of the films that I did. Because you see, in the 80s, it was a question of, the whole system was topsy turvy. If you have a as a character actor, if you have a character as a character actor, if you have a character as a character actor, if you have a character as a character actor, if you have a character as a character actor, if you have a character as a character actor, if and the producer would come. I had a very interesting conversation with the producer. I was doing a film with Mithun at the time. And I knew this producer. And he came, he came from outside to sign Mithun for a film. Very funny incident. But it's a realistic incident. Story. 
So I told him, I said, yeah, I won't take the name of the producer. I said, do you know that you will get dates for me? You will get dates for me. You know what he said? He said, that's why I'm here. You're a star. If you get the date for me tomorrow, I don't want to sign it for you. I'm sitting there. This was the end. And sure enough, Mithun gave him not even a day. He gave him a few hours after about five months. But he signed it. So the system was that, you know, if you are busy, you're a... You're obviously, the deduction was that you're an actor in demand. Right. If you're an actor... So, there's a perception you have to create ah. that, you know, I'm in no, it was, and it, it was genuine also. No, it was genuine. Because there were so many films that mm. every character I mean, has to have about 10-12 films and I was underemployed because <laughs> deliberately. There were more. <laughs> yeah, the, but people had many more films. I used to take on less work, but I had... But even at that stage, you had about 10-15 films at any given time. Mm. Now, the averages, it, it was a strange business. Now, out of the 15 films, about five would never be made. <laughs> okay. Out signing of the, amount. Sa signing amount ho gaya, but five would never be made. Because of funding reasons yes. or whatever reasons. That leaves ten. Out of those ten, five would come to about 50% stage and pack up. Oh. That would leave five. Hmm. Out of those five, four would probably tank at the box office. <laughs> So that remains one, one, out of one, one out of fifteen <laughs> ratio would probably work in the in the in the box office. So you're back in work again. However, yes, if I see, they're just like really <laughs> it's business, it's right? like a yeah, yeah. it's like it's like walking a tightrope. Oh. And for, for some reason, if all fifteen bombed, you just have to wait. <laughs> you just have to. <laughs> God, the, I mean, it was it was a crazy system. What is the greatest, happiest, uh, most uh, interesting scene that you remember performing with any actor? Something that, you know, you really remember even till date. Well, I can't, I've, I've done, so many, but, but, but I've, I've, you know, with, uh, with over the, over the last past 45 years, I've done a lot of scenes with some wonderful actors yes. and actors, actresses, I want to call them actors, some lady, women actors and, and men. And so it's, it's been, it's been a fantastic journey and I'm very, I consider myself very privileged Pierce Bosnan, I, I, I heard you talking about him. How was, Who? Pierce Bosnan. Your Pierce, yes, that's, yes. It's, it's really uncanny that we're sitting in Khajurao. Yes. And um, I was here doing Deceivers, which was produced by the legendary Mr. Ismail Merchant. It was directed by Nick Meyer, not by James Ivory. It was directed by Nick okay. Meyer. It had in the lead Mr. Pierce Brosnan, Imagine. who was playing the lead. As a Saeed James Jaffrey, Bond. the legend, you know, who was, was James Bond, the legendary uh, Saeed Jaffrey, Shashi Kapoor Saab, and a host of wonderful actors. That should be such a great experience. It was right? fabulous. And, we, and, and, and with Pierce, you're asking me about things, but and of course, at that time, because we didn't have all the American soaps mm. and all the American television programs, we weren't, we didn't have access to it. I wasn't familiar with the program he was doing, which was called Remington Steel, Steel. at the ah, time. Okay. But I found out from Netflix yeah, era. <laughs> but I've yeah, way beyond, way beyond. You know, it was, it was yes. 1987 or 86 or something like that. And but he was such a down-to-earth person that through another actor friend of mine, we used to sit together on a Sunday when we had off and we used to chat with Pierce by the swimming pool at uh, at the hotel that he was there. He was a very down-to-earth person. Most of the time, he was walking around in a kurta pajama oh. in the hotel. Very, very down-to-earth, wonderful guy. And he told us the story of uh, how he missed James Bond, playing James Bond, back then. Before he, he got it again. Before he oh. got it again. And that was a revelation that the way the, we thought that in our industry, mein ye sab hota. and he told me that the, that the reason he missed James Bond was that the he was too handsome. Well, that he's always been. <laughs> but the reason was that the producer of Remington Steel wouldn't leave him for those days. And uh, yes, he, Bond, very familiar. <laughs> and and that resonated with me because it was the 80s and we used to beg for dates from producers saying, "Yar, mujhe yahan chhod do main ek din mein wapas aa jaunga." And this to adjust. हमारे यहाँ वो होता था एडजस्ट कर लो यार 
दो दिन के लिए मैं वहाँ जाके मैं शूटिंग करके आ जाऊँगा आप वो करता था ठीक है ये करेंगे वो करेंगे आपका सीन कर देंगे और लोग एडजस्ट करते थे खूब एडजस्टमेंट होता था वहाँ नहीं किया। तो <laughs> उस समय जब मैं डिसीवर्स कर रहा था तो मुझे बताया गया था कि आप सेट छोड़ के कहीं जा नहीं सकते हो ये नहीं कि दो दिन के लिए यहाँ चले गए एक दिन के लिए यू हैव टू बी वेदर यू आर वर्किंग और नॉट विच वॉज एट दैट स्टेज वॉज ग्रेट बिकॉज आई वॉज इन होटल आठ दस दिन का काम नहीं था ठीक है सो दैट स्टेटमेंट रेजिनेटेड विथ मी कि उसके प्रोड्यूसर ने उसको छोड़ा नहीं उसको उसने अपने प्रोड्यूसर को बोल भी दिया था कि मैं जेम्स बॉन्ड मिल रहा है मुझे मैं डबल सेवन करने जा रहा हूं उसने खुन्नस भी नहीं छोड़ा उसको मीन तो वो बेचारा इतना दुखी था बट ही वॉज ओके आई गॉट जेम्स बॉन्ड आफ्टर दैट एंड ऑफकोर्स इन द इंडियन एंड आई हैव समीन्स विथ पेयर्स सो दैट वॉज दैट वॉज रियली लवली एंड इन द इंडियन सीन आई वॉज फॉर्चुनेट आफ्टर आई फिनिश द फिल्म विद शाम बाबू आई इट वॉज अबाउट थ्री फोर यूर गैप बिफोर आई गॉट अ मेन स्ट्रीम जैसे बोलते हैं कमर्शियल फिल्म विच वॉज शान तो आई हैव अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी बिकॉज आई वॉज एन एडवर्टाइजिंग इन दोज डेज तो दे वॉज इसमत चौकताइज डॉटर सीमा वॉज ऑल्सो इन सीमा सॉरी शी वॉज ऑल्सो इन द एडवर्टाइजिंग एजेंसी एंड आई वॉज डूइंग थिएटर एंड वी वो क्वाइट फ्रेंडली एंड सर ऑफ बी इन इच अदर्स कंपनी शी टोली शी से तुम्हें फिल्मों में आना चाहिए तो मैंने कहा ठीक है आई लव टू बी इन फिल्म बट लेकिन कैसे क्या तुम शी से जो चीज से ठीक है मैं तुम्हें मिलवा दूंगी जावेद अख्तर से मिलवा दूंगी सो आई सेट ग्रेट अभी उस जमाने में क्या होता था कि जावेद साहब एंड सलीम सलीम जावेद टॉप दे जस्ट ऑन शोले दीवार मीन दे पीक ऑफ द राइटिंग स्किल्स एंड एवरी थिंग लेकिन उनकी तस्वीरें नहीं छपती थी ज्यादा वो स्टार्डस वार्डस में केवल एक्टरों की फोटोज आती थी और कभी कभार मतलब एक राइटर की फोटो आ जाती थी तो आ जाती तो दे वॉज अ गेट टूगेदर एंड एट सीमास प्लेस एंड शी जस्ट टुक मी बाय द हैंड एंड टुक मी टू दिस जेंटलमैन एंड सर आपसे मिले आप जादू हैं तो ये कह के वो निकल गई तो आई एम फेस टू फेस विद मिस्टर जावेद अख्तर हु आई डेंट नो एट द टाइम वॉज दी जावेद अख्तर तो वी बहुत ऑकवर्डली लुकिंग इट इच अदर तो मैंने कहा सर नाइस टू मीट यू आप जादू शी सर जादू अभी जादू मुझे क्या मालूम होता है पेट नेम उस जादू ये भी नहीं कहा कि जावेद अख्तर साहब से मिल लिए तो जादू कहेंगे वो निकल गई तो मैं खड़ा था वहाँ भी लुकिंग इट इच अदर आई मेड द स्टूप मिस आप क्या करता है तो मैं आज जो सर आप क्या करते हैं ठीक है मैं राइटर हूँ तो मैंने कहा अच्छा नहीं नहीं आई 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 जीस राइट सो मेड अनदर फोपा क्या क्या लिखते हैं एंड स्टिल इन द इंडस्ट्री वो वाज गेटिंग इनटू या 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 नो ये थोड़ी सी लिख लेता कभी कभी हो जावे इसकी टाइट करूंगा तो मैंने कहा अच्छा ठीक है फिल्म लेकिन कौन सी फिल्म दीवार जंजीर शोले वो छोटी फिल्म में सुना होगा आपने शायद सर ओ गॉड फिर मुझे मतलब घंटी बज अरे दिस इज जावेद दिस इज जावेद अख्तर हिमसेल्फ तो मैंने गुस्ताखी मार मैंने कहा गुस्ताखी मार जावेद साहब आई एम सो सॉरी लेकिन मुझे आई आई रियली डिन नो एंड ही अंडरस्टूड दैट इट वॉज अ जेन्यून थिंग बिकॉज ये नहीं कि मैं आई वॉज ट्राइंग टू बी रूड तो उन्होंने कहा तुम फिल्मों में काम करोगे सीमा बोलती हूँ तुम फिल्मों में काम करना चाहते हो करोगे काम तो मेरे कहा जावेद साहब नहीं नहीं मेरे कहा पैसे मिलेंगे तो इस हाँ फिल्मों में ही पैसे मिलते इसलिए तो हम आए हम क्या कर रहे हैं यहाँ पर अगर पैसे नहीं मिलते दैट काइंड ऑफ आंसर ही गेमी एंड इसे ठीक है हम एक छोटी सी फिल्म बना रहे हैं अगर आपने सुना होगा अमिताभ बच्चन का नाम सुना होगा प्ले प्ले भी शशि कपूर हैं उसमें शत्रुघ्न सिन्हा साहब हैं ऐसे वैसे हैं और उसकी फिल्म का नाम है शान और उनके डायरेक्टर हैं रमेश सिप्पी साहब ने छोले जी ने बना वो तो सुन वो तो जानते होंगे ना ऐसे लोग बस बस हो गया जावेद साहब गुस्ता की माफ सो ई एक्चुअली टोल्ड मी कि मैं आप नंबर दीजिए मुझे एंड दो डेज नो मोबाइल तो मैंने लिटरली उसको एक छोटे से पर्चे पे लिख के दे दिया मैंने जावेद साहब को वी वेंट इज वे मैंने कहा होगी बात अभी आई मेड सच अ फूल ऑफ माई सेल्फ तो कहाँ मुझे रिकमेंड करेंगे मैं इट नेवर गोड हैपन बट ई डिड आई गोड अ कॉल फ्रॉम सिपी फिल्म विद इन थ्री डेज 
Within three days, I got a call from Sippy Films. And again, I felt that there was a joke happening. Because <laughs> there used to be a gentleman who used to work for Sippy Films called Rajan Saab. Now, Rajan Saab's mouth was always a pain. So, I got a phone call. 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 I said, man, you're going to make a bang the phone down. I said, first, I couldn't understand what he was. All I heard was, I'm going to call Sippy Films. Sippy Films. Finally, he called again. And said, देखो ऐसा ऐसा है कि रोमिस सिपी साहब without the pan this time without the pan this time और less pan ताकि कुछ समझ में आए कि सिपी साहब ने आपको बुलाया है ये वो जाबित साहब ने आपका नंबर दिया है आप प्लीज आके रमेश सिपी साहब से मिलिए उन उस जमाने में सिपी साहब का ऑफिस खार में ही होता था बगल में मैं कहा वहाँ पर शोले का डायरेक्टर मेरे सामने शाकाल की गैंग का मतलब हम मानो तो फिर भी उन्होंने उस जमाने में फिर भी उन्होंने पूरी मतलब पूरा मुझे not detail everything but he gave me a very good picture of the picture कि ये है ऐसा है वैसा है ये कर रहे हैं फलाने ये हैं everything and then became the beautiful question from Ramesh ji Ramesh ji नाज़ भी आप करेंगे तो I said यार ये this is too good तो मैंने कहा सर मैं सोचना पड़ेगा मुझे सोच बस मैं सोचना पड़ेगा मुझे सोच लिया मैंने करूँगा सो एनीवे सो आई गोट इन टू आई गोट इन टू सिपी फिल्म्स विच वाज एन ऑनर फिर सब ने मेरी फिरकी ली वहाँ पर जिसने कहा एक असिस्टेंट आया मेरे पास मैं गया असिस्टेंट के पास वो थिएटर के जमाने में था तो मैं कि रोल तो रमेश साहब ने मुझे सिपी साहब ने बता दिया लेकिन इसका मतलब क्या है मेरे सीन्स वीन्स वो हैं इसे अच्छा सीन्स इसे उनसे जाके पूछे वो जो बैठे हैं वहाँ पर जो ट्रांसलेट कर रहे हैं उनको जाके पूछते हैं वेंटर रूमी वो वाज डूइंग सम नॉट आउट रूमी जाके जस्ट अनदर रूमी वो वाज डूइंग सम सम उर्दू तो हिंदी ट्रांसलेशन वो कर रहा तो उससे पूछा मैंने कहा मेरे सीन्स वगैरह अगर आप होंगे तो आप जरा दे दीजिएगा तो ही लुक्ड एट मी एंड ही सेड ठीक है वो आप उन साहब को देखते हैं ठक्कर साहब वो जो मेन असिस्टेंट ही सेड वो सारे डिटेल्स उनके पास है तो वेंट तू ठक्कर साहब ऐसा ठक्कर साहब सीन्स वीन्स मेरे क्या हैं इसमें तो ठक्कर साहब टोल भी तुम मुझे लगता है तुम थिएटर के हो तो मैंने कहा जी हाँ थोड़ा सा थिएटर किया मैंने तो ही सेड आपके सीन्स वीन्स सब ठीक है अपना अपना नाप दीजिए आपके लिए थ्री पीस सूट बन रहा है वो भी व्हाइट में और सिर्फ आपके लिए नहीं आपका डुप्लिकेट का सूट अलग होगा मतलब आपका सूट आप ये आप ये सोचिए कि आप सिपी फिल्म्स पे आ गए हैं और आपके लिए एक सूट बन रहा है जो थ्री पीस है एंड द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग इस कि जो डुप्लिके� to blow my mind even further, the story I was coming to, my first scene in Shan was with the great Mr. Amitabh Bachchan. So, there was also my band. Because we were shooting on Ambedkar Road in Bandra. We started with which actors. But I mean, this is an incident. So, I was on the set. It was a shift at night. In that time, there was a shift at 7 o'clock. It was a shift at 7 o'clock. So, I was on the set and I was there. सब रेडी था शूटिंग तक की तैयारी हो रही थी तो पहला असिस्टेंट आया सर आपका पहला दिन है ना तो मैंने कहा हाँ सर फर्स्ट डे ना तो कोई बात नहीं इट बी ओके हाँ नो 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 आई मीन आई एम सिंग थोड़ी सी नर्वस ने शुरू हो गई दो केम टू मेक मी नॉट नर्वस बट दिस इस या दिस इस अ टैक्टिकल थिंग फिर दूस I said, yes. By which time I was getting a little nervous. Like, why are so many people telling me to relax? You know, then came the third guy. And he like really put the day. He said, what's your story, sir? It's your first day. You're so lucky. 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 Then, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, okay. And then to add to that, the nervous is built up by R.A. 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 But he came with no fanfare. कोई बैंड बाजा नहीं था, सदैली एक आवाज थी पीछे हाय हम मुताबिक बच्चन, absolutely dead मीनो, and we did the scene together लेकिन ऐसा था कि I was so nervous, 
बट वो बारबर शॉप में नाई की दुकान में था जहाँ वो उस तरह डालता मेरे गले पे तो साबुन था मुंह पे वो शेफ का साबुन वाबुन तो मतलब सीन हो गया बट आई ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दैट एंड आई एम सॉरी इट्स अ वेरी लॉन्ग स्टोरी आई विश आई कुड हैव स्पोकन मोर विद यू बट आई थिंक दे हैव आई हैव टेकन द हाफ दे आर रनिंग आउट ऑफ यू नो थैंक यू इट वाज सो लवली बस हो गया यस ओ थैंक यू सो थैंक यू सो मच डू यू फील डिड यू यू रिकॉग्नाइज समथिंग प्लीज हाथ दीजिए ऐसे आई एम नो लेस देन सिमिग्रेट वाल ओ थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच